My childhood was a little bizarre. I was raised on opera and classical music. Every time I lost a tooth, instead of two dollars from the tooth fairy, I would get a Gilbert and Sullivan opera under my pillow. Instead of, you know, me watching like High School Musical, I was dancing around to Carmen Miranda from That Night in Rio. So it was a very eclectic, different childhood. My first toy was a box of transistors. I would get a lot of old computers or printers to take apart. The idea of taking the resources around me and piecing them together to make something better was an idea that was just instilled early on. From there, I started just enjoying tinkering and learning about electronics, and my parents suggested that I join the local science fair. I started looking into alternative energy sources. So that's energy that's always around us, but not necessarily used. And when I was in grade 10, one of my friends in the Philippines told me that she had failed her grade in school because she didn't have any electricity. So she didn't have any light to study with at night. For me, that was really shocking to hear because she was just like another girl like me, but in a different part of the world. So I decided to base my science fair project that year around her problem and create a battery-free flashlight. And I came up with the hollow flashlight, which is a flashlight that runs off the heat of the human hand. So this tile is called a Peltier tile or a thermoelectric generator. So it basically can produce electricity through a temperature differential. So if I heat one side of this white tile, then it will produce a small amount of electric current. I mean, there's heat everywhere. Like we are 100 watt walking light bulbs, so why aren't we harvesting some of that heat? We could literally be harvesting electricity from everywhere. I've had a lot of people email me and ask for advice because they have these ideas. They're like, how do I make it into something tangible in front of me? I tell people to work on what they're passionate about every single day, even if it's just for 10 minutes, as long as you're working on it. When you're on this earth, the one thing you should be doing is trying to help others. And whether you reach and help one person in your life or you reach a lot of people, that's great, as long as you're putting good energy out there and trying to make the world a better place. <laughs>